Hi, Nana here. In this session, uh, we are going to have a look at the inter-sub-inventory parameters. Uh, remember, uh, we are now transferring it from org 202 to 201 now. So I will now do the inter-sub-inventory parameters in 202 and then I make a check of it now. Let me share it now. So we will do the... <coughs> we will now log in with the system now. So for the second org, we have already set up everything <coughs> as far as the transfer orders are concerned. So we go down and then let us now create one more sub inventory on this. Go to set up and make notes. Go to this place and then click on search and then and go to the task manage sub inventory as well. So go there and then choose the org M202. So in this org, the shipping parameters are fully set up. So we have only two things. So let me create one more sub unit. I will now say uh, it's a M202 underscore. I will now say sub one. I am now creating a sub unit. So from here, I am now going to move it to stage. Click on the description. Paste it on Location is M20, and then we tap the second location will be coming. And remember, if you don't give the location, uh, my student faced a problem for intro transfers. When you perform the transfer orders route, the location was missing, and then it was not pushing it to the interface tables of a. Uh, 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 the transfer order. So that it was having an issue now. So please give a location, and then uh, he was having an issue on the intro transfers, the location was missing. Might be he might have done a location organization tie also. Uh, he must have missed, I don't know what exactly some mistake was getting it now. So, just to it, this is now uh, an important one now. Save and close. So, now I'm now going to be, define my inter sub inventory parameters between sub one to stage. Sub one to stage, let me define it now. I click on the now. <clears throat> Go there. So, manage inter percentage sub percentage right? inter sub inventory transfers. So let us now define that manage inter sub inventory parameters between sub one to stage now. Thank you, come plus now. Right. <clears throat> so the organization is M202. Then the destination sub inventory is stage now. When destination is inventory. And then the destination sub inventory, we're going to choose it as what stage now. <clears throat> and then here, source sub inventory, I'm going to specify. I will not do it, but sub one. Now. Sub one to stage, I'm going to move it now. Click on it. So here I will now make it as an in transit move. Then result floating is standard. So I have not defined the inter sub inventory parameters. So this is not done. So the inter sub inventory parameters are now defined. Here, remember the transfer order required tick mark is nowhere there at all. Fine, there is no transfer order required, tick mark is coming. So it is not done with all these things now. If I required X, this is only for the projects actually. So is in transit, this thing is the same. Okay, I got so I will now give a save and close. Inter sub inventory parameters move home no from sub one to stage is now done. Thank you for save and close. So now I will now define the min-max. So I will now go to manage sub inventory some locators now. Manage percentage. <clears throat> Top percentage. Locator percentage. And then now I will now go there. We are going to move it from sub one to stage now. The stage I'm going to give it now. Fine, click on the stage and let me define this now. You go to the, this place. This is the destination area. So I'm going to define it. I'm now going to move it from sub one to stage now. And click on manage items of inventories. <clears throat> So go there and then in this place, I will not choose what happens. Give her the you know, plus. <clears throat> I will not put some item over here now. <clears throat> you will not see how many items are assigned to both the orgs now. Fine, you won't be having much now actually. Click on it. You won't be having much of item over here now. So I have a transfer order available here now. Let me choose this itself now. The transfer order. So not much of an item are assigned to the second dog. I'm not coming up. I have not chosen this now. And then now the inventory replenishment is min max now. I'm not doing it. Click on it. So here on the sub inventory, uh, on the staging sub inventory, I will now give a higher value because I'm not sure about how much is the quantity there now. 500. So minimum quantity is 500. The maximum is 700. I'll go there. Fixed lot multiple is five. And then the carrying capacity, I will now say uh, around say 300. The minimum order quantity is 300. And then the maximum is let us say 400. Now some value I'm giving it now so that we will see whether it creates this or not. So here I'm now going to go for what. The sub inventory level replenishment. 
brother. The source thing is subordinate. Fun. One subordinate, I am going to definitely know. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't need this at all because I'm not going to go on a, and then right click and then create a transfer order or something like that. Anyhow, I'm not giving it to find subordinate. I will not specify the source subordinate also. We cannot now see uh, what exactly works at you. The source subordinate is someone now. So I'm not sitting on stage now. I'm not sitting on stage and then I'm not making the source subordinate as someone now. I click on seven close. So I'm not define the min max parameters for the moment. Click on seven close. So go there. Click on it. And then it's not done. I click on them. So it is now done. <clears throat> um, okay, I have not done it. Now click on them. We will now go to this place now. So click on them. This place. And then I will now go to the supply chain execution. And then I go to the what's called inventory map. I will now go to the inventory management. Click on it now. And then here I go to the manage item quantities and then try to create a transfer order. I will now put, I am in the second dog now. If I click on search, I will be getting the transfer order item over here. So the transfer order item is coming. I will now select it and then try to create what happens a transfer order for this. And go there. So inter sub inventory parameters have been Go there, go to this place. And then I will now request a transfer order for this now. And click on the request a transfer order. So when I am requesting it in separate details, I am going to give the same org now. And click on it. You now see, okay, the requested quantity, I will now say 10 now. 10 is a requested quantity. Brother, click on it. So click on OK now. Brother, I requested it is today's date. And then click on this now. I will not put the org as the same org. Destination sub inventory, I will not say it's stage sub inventory. Drop it down. I will not choose the stage sub inventory. And search now. We are getting the stage sub inventory. And then the source sub inventory is sub one. And then destination. Source organization. Again, what happens? I am not putting M202 only. M202 only. Brother, click on it. So organization is what M202 and then make a search now. I'm already on 202 or 201, it's not coming. Okay, right? Right. So the same source only. And then I will now say source sub inventory also let me just I will now see I'm not allow the moment request to basically do it now. Click on it. So someone is available now. So we have someone. Someone to stage, I'm going to move it now. So I'm in 202 only. I'm in the 202, and then I'm now requesting it off. And 10 quantities. Right? I must have sufficient quantity in sub one actually. Fine, click on okay. So the transfer order must be. Available on sub one, click on OK now. It is now done. If I click on submit, we'll now see whether the transfer order is getting created or not. So click on sub now, submit. So supply request was created and then submitted for processing. It is now done. I click on OK. <clears throat> so we are now created a, a, what's called a movement between two sub inventories on this now. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> movement request now. In the meantime, what happens? I will now go on and keep sufficient stock of this M20 transfer order on sub one actually. <coughs> You go there. I go to the uh, supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management. And then let me keep sufficient quantity on this place now. And click on it. And then click on create miscellaneous transaction. Let me keep sufficient quantity on this sub one now because somewhere I'm going to move now. So miscellaneous result. And then I will now put the account over here now. 10 8, 1, 8, 1, 1, 2, so click on it and then drop it down and then make it as yes now. <coughs> click on pass now. So it's a transfer order item. So I am in 202, remember. M20 underscore tra and then go tab now with the transfer order and go there. In sub one, I'm going to keep now. Sub one will be having basically zero now. So I'm going to click on it. I will now keep sub one. Kacha kacha, kacha kacha. <coughs> go there. Click on it. I will now submit this. So we have sufficient quantity in sub one. Now let us go there and then see whether any transfer order is now created for movement of material between these two supplementaries. You go there. You go to the manage transfer orders and then make a checkup. 10 quantities the one. So the source organization and destination organization are same now. I will not give the source organization is what M202. The destination organization is also what is M202. We will now make a search now. Click on search now. <sighs> so manage inter sub inventory parameters that we defined now. Click on it. So it is not showing you full, uh, the thing is coming, uh, the, the transfer order has come now. The transfer order has come now. So click on the view shipment details now. Then click on the view shipment details for this one. So you can now see it is requested, it is not yet shipped, and then it is not yet received, and then not yet delivered. So we'll now right click and then duplicate now. Then I'm going to duplicate now. No way getting it. So we go there, and then we will now work on this transfer order. So we are going to pick it now. Fine, we are going to perform pick now. So the transfer order number is what? Eleven seven zero zero seven. We are going to make a pick now. So let us now go there and then make a pick. So go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management. Remember, it is on the same sub inventory, same organization actually. Click on it. Now go there. And then we'll now perform a shipment. 
go to the shipments and then we'll not perform a pick. So go there. Go to the managed shipment lines and then we'll not go there and then click on it and then we'll not choose what? The two, uh, all lines uh, today due and then next seven days and then go there. We'll not put the order number only. Order number is what? 11 7007 now. 11 7007. <coughs> the tab. And then uh, click on search now. It will be ready for picking it. So between two sub inventories, we have now created a transfer order successfully. Actually. And then go there. So it is now searching for it now. So 11 7007. We are going to perform a pick now. <coughs> The pick is not going to be performed. Right? Go there. Go to actions and then go to launch pick release. The pick is going to you click on pick release. It will be picking. We have sufficient quantities in the source organization also. We are picking it. And remember, I am working on 202 because 202 is now fully shipped, set for shipping actually. So that is why I have now defined the sub inventory, uh, inter sub inventory parameters for this now. No doubt. <coughs> so, now, so you go there, give us even close. So it will be getting staged actually. So we have a stage sub inventory. Fine, go there. So here uh, it is not standard transfer order stage. No, fine. It, we we have defined the stage as also a stage. No, fine. On the stage sub inventory itself, we are performing this uh, uh, transfer order requirement. We should have given a different sub inventory altogether. Fine, doesn't matter. It's not working actually. It's not coming as a save. And then you go there and then have a look at it. Fine, go there. Come on, it. Well, not go to the done and then make it. Fine. There is no ship. Not a ship actually. Fine, did not done. And then it is not a ship actually. And then select it and then click on view shipments records. Fine, not a ship. It is only pick actually. So we will now confirm the picks actually. Fine, click on it. It is now confirm pick, picks, the pick, release and pick confirmation. Everything has been completed successfully. And then if you want to do it in two steps, I will tell you. Fine, I, I don't know whether I have uh, shown it or not. Fine, I might have forgotten something. If you want to do pick separately and then uh, pick, uh, pick release separately and then pick confirmation separately, what do you have to do? I am not sure whether I have told you or not. Fine, click on it. If you want to do both of them in a separate step section, in that case, you go there. What is the search now? It is the manage ENV percentage, ARC percentage. I'm going to enter now. I might have told you, but I'm again repeating it. I'm going to it now. In this place, let me query the ARC now. <clears throat> it is a M20 and then enter it now. So it is a second ARC in which we are working upon. Edit it now. <clears throat> go there, click on next now. So in this place, if you go there, go to the item sourcing details. If you say pick confirmation is required, you have to manually pick confirm. Fine. So what does automatically populate the picked quantity during pick confirm? Fine. How much has to be picked? It will automatically also populate. Fine. There are two tick marks. Fine. Populate picked quantity during pick confirmation process. So this requires a manual pick confirm. Remember. And if you remove it, the pick release and then the pick confirmation gets completed automatically. But if it is going to be a serial controlled item, I have already shown you. I don't know whether I have shown it on. I'm, I'm not sure. It's an order management topic actually. System select serial numbers. If you go there and then make it as a no, then serial numbers will not be automatically allocated. This is known as an inspection before dispatch. We'll be looking at it during order management. Actually. This is an order management topic. So if you have an inspection before dispatch, if you say system select serial numbers, go to no, it will not pick at all. It will it will not uh, what happens, it will not allocate also. It will not allocate, it will be released to warehouse. The warehouse in charge will be allocated. Allocation will be stopped by this only for serial control. It is not available for other controls like lot control or revision control or locator control. It is only available for serial numbers where it's what happens that we can even do it. I'm not saving it actually. So in this place, if you put a tick mark on this, pick confirmation is a ma manual confirmation basically. <clears throat> Click on done off and go that point. So you know done it on that point. So we'll now go to the manage shipment lines and then click on the shipment number and then I will now perform a ship confirmation. So by shipping it, it is now going to be shipped from one sub inventory to other sub inventory actually. Click on it. I will now click on the ship confirmation now. So you're not giving a warning now. Fine, the weight and volume, weight and volume is missing. It doesn't matter if we can even ignore these warning messages now. Fine, it is only for the required for transportation management. Click on, click on S now. Now you can see a concurrent will be running now. Click on it. Will not see a concurrent running. Go there, click on it. it will be running a concurrent. So you go there and then go to the tools and then go to the scheduled process. And then you can now see the concurrent running. The send shipment advice will be basically communicating to the transfer order that it is not shipped actually. The transfer order will be communicated. Send shipment advice is for two things one for communicating back to the transfer order and then one for communicating back to the order management actually. So this will be communicating to the feeder system. They call them as a feeder system. So the main advantage of a transfer order is what? You can print the fixed slip report. We can do the uh, bill of lading report and then ship confirmation documents. So many things can be printed. Now. That is the biggest advantage. Apart from allocation. Apart from allocation, we can even print it also. So if you right click and then make a, uh, uh, what happens, a movement request, 
point. You will not be able to do in two steps actually. One is a pick and then the one is ship. Whereas for a transfer order, you can do it now. I don't know what are the real advantage on this now. There may be some advantages. Somebody please uh, go through and then tell us about what is the advantage of moving the material via transfer order between two subunits of the same market. It's all done now. Go there. Go to this place. And then here. You'll not give it done. And then here, what happens? It will be shipped actually. And click on the now. Click on it. Click on it. And then click on the view ship. So you have the option of manually receiving it on the destination sub inventory. That is a big advantage. So if you feel like what happens, let us say I have an inventory or where I have a Bombay sub inventory and then the Madras sub inventory. In which case you would like to receive it manually because it may, the consignment may reach here after three or four days time. And then it shows you the expected date of results also based upon your, uh, your uh, what's called your inter sub inventory parameter, uh, your, uh, carriers and transit times actually. So uh, this is not set here. I'm not sure about whether what I have set now, whether it's not showing you the same date actually. Uh, so uh, probably I think between two orgs I have set it and then the between same sub I have not set it actually. So that is why what I was not putting probably in the same date actually. So on the destination sub we can very well receive that is advantage. So there are certain advantages of a transfer order over movement request now. So some companies may even like it to follow which what happens they have given this facility. I will not right click and then duplicate it and then I will not make what a receipt on the destination or Go there. So click on supply chain execution and go to the inventory management. I will now come to the same org now on the same org. Click on it. I will now go to the inventory. <coughs> I will now see uh, not inventory. I will now go to the receipts and then go for the expected receipts. Receive expected shipments now. I click on the receive expected shipments. So here the uh, the transfer order number I'm going to populate and then remember I'm in the same org only on the same org transfer order number 11 and then give a tab now. 11 11 70 or 70 someone's coming. Thank you for search. <coughs> Select it and click on the same. So, in the same org between two sub inventories, we are now doing a transfer order actually. So, click on the same. So, we are receiving it. So, click on the show receipt quantity. It will now say how much is expected on the destination sub inventory. Right. Between two sub inventories, we are doing it through a transfer order actually. So, click on it. It will now show you a stand now. Come on, come on, come on. Wapa. <coughs> so, it is a two step process. We are going to first of all receive and then afterwards go to any country. So, you know what I mean? So, while it is a receiving stage, what happens? We cannot populate any sub inventory over here now. Sub inventory cannot be populated. So, click on create receipt. Your GRN number gets created now. And click on submit. We will be creating a GRN number. <coughs> the GRN number is now created. Now, on the next step, 1003 is the GRN number, and then we are going to deliver it now. Click on OK. So, click on it. And then here, you cannot see received, and then it is not delivered. If you give it done and then come back, it will be received actually. Go there, click on it. And then click on the view shipment lines, and then receipt lines. Okay, you can see it is now received now. And it's not received, and then it's not a delivered now. So we're going to deliver it also. Fine, brother. Click on it. We will now go there and then deliver it. <coughs> it is 1003 is the GR number. Fine, close it, and then go there, <coughs> click on it, and then here I will now go to what receipts, and then I will now put away. I'm not going to make a put away of these receipts now. Fine, brother. So 1003 is the GR number. I'm going to give it a tab now. Click on search. It will be showing you that it is ready for delivery. Select it and then click on put away. So we are putting it away. <coughs> click on put away. <coughs> go there. Click on it, and then here. I go there, I will not populate the sub inventory. It is already showing you on the source organization itself. We have given the sub inventory, so it is not populating it. If the inventory in charge want to do it, what happens? You can even override this. So, transfer order route has got many, many advantages. Right? Rather, it may be advantage for you. You have to think about whether it is really advantage or not. I will not say it's not done now. So, go to the manage transfer orders and click on done now. And then come back, it will be delivered also. Click on that. Then again, no sales. Then go there, click on it, and then click on the view uh, shipments or receipts. What happens is also delivered. So here you are now doing it in parts. Actually, you are now doing a pick release and then the pick confirmation. Afterwards, a ship confirmation. Afterwards, receiving it at the gate and then you are delivering it. Now, if you want all these four activities to be done, when you want to move between two sub inventories, we can go for it. Apart from that, you can now print the pick confirmation documents, ship confirmation documents. Everything is there. So, if all these things are advantages for your movement of material between two sub inventories, allocation is also there. Of course, if you go via movement request, it is going to allocate. Transfer order has got extra extra facility of movement. Apart from movement request allocation, it has got one extra facility. What? It is printing the documents. Actually. It is not printing the documents. And then we can do stage by stage slowly, and then you can even watch it now. We can even go and then watch in our uh, uh, supply orchestration area. <coughs> go there. So, go to the supply chain planning. And then here I go to the supply orchestration. So in the supply orchestration area also we can see this transfer order over here. And click on it now. And then go there. Go to the manage supply lines now. So your transfer order number is available over here now. <coughs> so 
uh, you have to have the supply request number now fine but that i am not having it actually so it has created a supply request number uh, i will not put 11 and then give it up now i will not say whether the transfer order number is a supply request number or not fine whether drop it down <clears throat> it may not be the number now fine whether comment so i think probably the, this one may be the supply request number now fine whether comment inv 003 thank you on search now no say there's a supply request number fine whether comment and then go there so it is for a transfer actually fine whether Line number one point one five. It is for different item actually. The source and the A zero one. So this is not the one. Uh, how to query this? No, find out the supply areas. Document number. I will not put this one. I will not put eleven starting. It starts with eleven. No, I will not remove this. No, go there. Search for it. No, I will not remove. Starts with eleven and then make a search. No, find eleven. Seven thousand seven is the number. No. So oh God, so much of the numbers are eleven. Uh, what is the number? No, find more. 11, 7,000, so I don't put the exact number and search for it now. So I give it, uh, what is the search now? 11, 7,000, so 11, 7,000, and then I make a search now. Now, so it is coming. Yes, 11, 7,000, so is coming. Fine, whether it is <clears throat> the source is child 2, fine, whether click on it is a transfer order. Fine, the item is correct. Fine, whether transfer order test, fine, whether click on it. So source is M20, child 2, <clears throat> destination is also child 2. So the source and destination organization are same here now. Right? See, the source and destination organization is same. If you click on that transfer order number, so between the two sub inventories of the transfer order, we are now clearing the transfer order. So if your business needs a transfer order route now, fine, now closed and then they're not coming, and then you cannot say inter organization transfers, it will not show you. Inter organization shipment, go that on it. Inter organization shipment and then transfer order closure actually. It will not show you everything. So, if your business feels like having this multiple parts of a, what happens to shipment actually between two sub inventories, we can very well go for the transfer order. And remember, I have learned it only today. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> so, this is what else. But I made a, I thought of making an experiment and then what happens, it succeeded actually. So, this is what else. So, fine. Good. So, you can write to me for any clarifications to nana.app60 at gmail.com nana.app60 at gmail.com. I'm planning to start a training on order management on the basics only uh, from 6th of July. I'm yet to announce it. You can even, uh, I will be announcing it by weekend. Fine. It's oraclenana.com slash OM. is the website. oraclenana.com, oraclenana.com slash OM. <coughs> so, okay. Let us now try to meet you on the next video. Fine, brother. So, we have now learned a new thing. That is called inter-sub-inventory parameters through which we can even move between two inventories between two sub on a transfer order route. Good. Fine. Bye for now.